Go check out buycheapfifacoins.com to get the best cheap coins around on the market. Use the discount code ROSSI for an extra discount off your coins. It's a fully automated service. So you get your coins instantly. What more could you ask for? Now let's roll on to today's video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here and it's going to be another one of my FIFA 15 potential player rating video. This is going to be on um, basically people who've pretty much transferred basically. So what I mean by that is... You know, in the media at the moment, there's a lot of speculation going around, but all these are actually confirmed rather than ones I'm guessing at, kind of. Because I did a video before where I guessed at a couple. Uh, I didn't, I say guessed, it was basically, um, one of them was like Arsenal by an Aurea, and that doesn't seem likely anymore, even though at the time it seemed pretty likely to go through, but let's go my Debushi now. So rather than doing that and looking like an idiot, I've decided to do ones which have already gone through. And on your screen, as a first player, you will see Tadic, FC20 player. Looks quite decent there. Don't be put off by them stats for a right winger though. But he has had two informs and a team of the season, which are all cams. And he's just recently got a move to senior screen in just two seconds. Boom. There we go. Southampton have bought him. Probably to replace Lalana, I would say. And um I, I don't know a lot about him. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie to you. So again, I've asked for some help on this one. So that's the stats the guy gave me who uh, had some good knowledge of him. If you think any different, let me know in the comment section below. It'd be awesome to see what you guys make of the con uh, of, of the card rather. Uh, I've gone with Cam. He can play a number of positions, I'm told. Right wing, left wing, cam, striker. Maybe not striker, so I feel like an in behind the striker kind of role uh, for him. But on the Southampton, you think he's going to be a like for like replacement for Lalana? It seems to be that way. Uh, he's got decent shooting, 80, 82 is what I've been told his shooting could go to. But again, I think that's a little bit too high. Um, I would probably say personally around 79, something like that. He's apparently a really good shooter. Good pace as well, 76. You know, decent passing, decent dribbling, decent. Looking at that card right now, even though the guys is what his stats he gave me, that seems rather high in my opinion. I've, I've just gone with what he told me rather than me guessing because, like I said, I don't want to guess at things and look like an idiot afterwards purely because um, I don't know a lot about them rather than this guy is actually an FSA 20 fan and uh, he's big him up by the looks of it, which, you know, people do, but um, I'm going to give my own idea of the card. I'd say a little bit less shooting than what he's showing on that card there, a little bit a little bit less on most of the things. He's probably picked him up, but like I said, he probably liked him. He's probably a little bit pissed that he's been sold as well, but South Africa got himself a good play. He's obviously quite a good play. He's had two in forms, like I said, as well as a team in the season card, which, you know, isn't given out lightly, so um, respect to him for getting that, and uh, Southampton possibly getting a good player out of it there, so that's ideal. The next player, Robert Lewandowski. Now, this is a transfer which has been done ages ago. It was one of them kind of like Bosman transfers, or is it called Bosman, or like a free transfer? We kind of tapped them up in January when the contract's expiring, uh, agree a pre-contract or whatever, and they sign at the end of the year, so that's the way that one's going to go down, and unfortunately, again, for Borussia Dortmund, He's gone to Bayern, which is a little bit annoying for them because it always seems to be their best players going over to Bayern or whatever, but um, they always seem to replace them. I think they've got, um, who have they got this year? I think it's like Adrian Ramos and Immobile or Mobley, or Mobley, whatever he's called. But I think it's them too. I might be wrong actually with them. But Robert Lewandowski is now a Bayern player. And holy shit, his card could be insane next year. Um, looking back at that, I've only given Lewandowski 80 shooting. This is my personal one. That's why I'm thinking Tanich with 82 shooting is ridiculously high. But like I said, don't hate on me for that. That was a guy who um, knew him more than me. I didn't want to say no to him because, you know, he might have been right. But Lewandowski 80 shooting. I've only had to buy a few from his original card. But I think that's quite low. I think he's a very good finisher. I don't know what EA um, theory is with the finishing. But I see that 82 possibly maybe. I didn't want to put too hard on the high on the card though from his previous card because it would be a bit stupid me. His pace, he's not quick, he's not rapid, but he is decent pace. 84 is probably about right. 66 passing, you know, decent card there. 85 dribbling. I can see him going up to an 87. I really can. Uh, he's had a decent season. He's not had his best season. He's had a fantastic season, but he has had better seasons. But he's getting to move to Bayern. Holy hell, their attack line is going to be insane. I don't even know how the hell they pick a T in their front lot. It's so absolutely ridiculous. But then the final transfer, which has gone through, unfortunately, for Liverpool fans. We all knew it was going to happen eventually. And it's finally pretty much done. I do believe I've agreed a fee rather than the transfer gone through. That's basically just like pending uh, medical and all that kind of shenanigans which go on behind the scenes. But Luis Suarez is the main man. This is FIFA. Uh, 14 card. That's his basic one. He's had an upgrade and an absolute shit ton of informs team of seasons. Will you name it? He's got it. Man of the match. International man of the match anyway. Uh, for against England, I think it was actually. But there's his Barcelona card and holy tits. I reckon it'll go 89. I really do. Maybe even pushing 90. You've got to consider Falcao 90. Would you say Falcao and Suarez? Very similar kind of players. I honestly think Suarez is as good as Falcao, maybe even better. That's my personal opinion. Suarez is a fantastic player in real life. Decent pace, 85, giving him 90 shot. Holy hell. Maybe a little bit high again, maybe like 87, 88, something like that. Because you know what EA like, they're quite stingy with their stats. But 78 passing, 93 dribbling, 79 heading. That will be an absolute awesome card to use next year. And uh, with Neymar, possibly left wing. And then uh, the kind of weird thing next season, we might see Messi as a right winger. 
which will be a little bit weird, but probably because we're used to seeing him as a centre forward in the game. But are they going to play him in behind Suarez? Maybe. Maybe they will go with two up front. That will be fantastic. But their strike force next season is absolutely phenomenal. And I can't wait to watch him play next season on Sky Sports and all that shenanigans. But yes, let me know in the comment section below if you've enjoyed this video. Also, who would you see like to see in the next episode? We can do any one you want. We can do uh, possible transfers. We can do transfers which has gone through. We can do the big daddies. I don't think I've done Messi yet. Actually. I've done Ronaldo, Ibrahimovic, the likes of that, Pogba, people like that. If you want to go look back on my channel, I've done a few already. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. A like would be absolutely fantastic. Like I've said, if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. We are on our way to 70k. It'll be awesome to hit that before FIFA 15. But yes, that is the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time. And bye-bye. Boom.